and welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna do a quick little skincare haul. Most of it's from Sephora, but um, I really needed to up my game with some, some skincare. I have really like dropped the ball with skincare lately. I haven't been doing what I need to like with my normal routine and I really wanted to get some new things to help out my skin because it definitely needed it. So before we jump in, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. I'll leave all my handles below. You can follow me on social media and hit that little bell to get notified every time I upload a video. I'm trying to upload every week on Wednesdays. So keep on the lookout for that. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and just jump into the video. All right, so the first thing I needed, um, I wanted to get a new cleanser for my face. I've been using Derma Doctor Ain't Misbehaving one. I just feel like it's not enough for me right now, and pregnancy really fucked up my skin, so I wanted something to help with that. So I went ahead and picked up the Kate Somerville um, Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. It comes in this little packaging right here. It's so cute. And this is what it looks like. It is... I don't know if it's focusing, but it looks like this. So the um, actual stuff in it is pink and yeah, it's acne treatment, which is what I need. I have very, I used to have very acne prone skin and I feel like it's just more easy for me to get acne and I wanted something to help with that. And it says, let's see what it says. This medicated foamy acne cleanser with a unique whipped texture is formulated with 3% sulfur, which is really good for acne, like helping with clear it up, to help clear and prevent blemishes and draw impurities to unclog congested pores. Honey and rice bran extracts help calm and soothe acne prone skin, while natural oat extract reduces, absorbs, and balances sebum. With continued use, this gentle yet effective daily cleanser leaves skin visibly clear, all that blah blah blah. But yeah. Pick this up, so if you have acne prone skin like I am, I do, or you have like blemish problems here and there, then I would definitely look into this. I did a lot of research before, like I went into Sephora, so this was one of the things, one of the top ones that I saw and I wanted to try it out. So the next thing I got is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It comes in this little packaging right here. Glam Glow is expensive. And I'll show you the bottle. They came out with a new packaging too. Well, like a different type of bottle that has more. I can get this open. But I've had this before. I love this mask. It's just like a mud mask or clarifying mask. If I can get this open. But looks like this. It's like a black mask. And it really like draws out all of, you know, the gunk from your face. It's a really, really good mask. And I haven't had it in a while, so I wanted to pick it up again. Again, expensive. So if you want to try it, Sephora will always give you samples of whatever you want to try. That's the great thing about it. I love going to Sephora because of that. All right. Okay. So um, I needed a new toner. Or I didn't really need one. I wanted to try a new one. And this was one of the ones that I saw. And this is Clean Beauty, I believe. It's the Youth to the People Kom Kombucha and 11% AHA exfoliation power toner. So it's lactic and glycolic acid black tea tree bark. So exfoliating facial toner. Really love all of that. It's clean, like I said. Um, and those, the lactic acid and glyco glycolic acid really helps with like acne, clearing out your skin and all that. Um, but yeah, it's just a toner and I really wanted to get something to help, again, clear out my skin it's not gonna be too much on my skin and um, leave enough moisture to wear, you know, cause I'm oily. So I don't want it to strip me all of my oils because that just makes it worse. So yeah, I'm not gonna read everything on the back just because I took a long time with the Eradicate cleanser. So I don't wanna do that again. It's gonna be a really quick video. But the next thing I got was this. I don't know if you can qualify this as skincare, but I do. So it is the Grande Lash Enhancing Serum. So I have camel, camel lashes. Like they're super short. They've always been short. That's just how they are. And I wanted something to lengthen them. And the lady I was talking to about like all these skincare products, she had like the longest lashes. And she was telling me that she uses this. And 
I was sold. I, this is expensive. I didn't even realize how much it was before I went ahead and bought it. It's $65, I'm pretty sure, and it's really expensive, but she uses it, and her lashes are so insanely long and natural. It looks so good, so I really wanted to try this out. I've been using it the past couple days since I bought it um, a few days ago, so we'll see how it works. It says in four to six weeks. And you only need, it lasts a long time, the lady said, and you only have to use it like one little swipe on your lash lines. So yeah. Okay, the next things I didn't really buy, but I got samples of because these were also um, products that I was looking into when I was um, searching for my skincare on Sephora and doing my research. Okay, battery died. Lighting might be a little bit different because it's later in the day. Anyways, um, as I was saying, so I got samples of a few things that I wanted. I wanted some, to try some new eye creams and then I also wanted to try some new moisturizers that would go more with what I'm wanting for my skin. So the eye gels that I got are the Biosance. Um, here, they gave me a little paper for each. So they gave me the Biosance Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel. Um, it helps reduce the look of puffiness and dark circles, which is what I wanted. It has squalane and hyaluronic acid, which is always a good thing. Um, the next one I got is Sunday Riley Autocorrect um, Brightening and Deep Puffing Eye Contour Cream, which is, again, doing pretty much the same thing that I want. I really wanted to like help with the puffiness in my eyes and then the dark circles as much as it could help. And the last one I got is the Brightening Eye Cream Hydrate, <clears throat> sorry, Hydrate and Deep Puff. And that is from the Sephora brand, part of their new skincare that they had like launched this year. I don't know when, but it's like recently that they just launched it. So I got samples of all of them. They put it in this like little baggie for me and they printed out a little thing of each one and they labeled it. So that's good. I don't know. I know which one I'm using. It's like ABC. So I know which one I'm trying out. But yeah, I got those. Again, skincare can be expensive, so I just wanted to try something out. I like trying it out before I actually buy, so that I know once I do buy, I'm actually gonna like it. And again, I love that Sephora does that. And then the moisturizer, moisturizers that um, I got samples of are the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Matte Moisturizer, um, the Tatcha Water Cream, and then Youth to the People Kale and Spinach Moisturizer. So. A little slips not in here, but I was looking, um, obviously the one from Dr. Brandt, it's mattifying moisturizer, which I'm really oily, so I like anything that helps keep me matte throughout the day. The Tatcha Water Cream, I actually saw this on a YouTube video from Sephora, where they were talking about skincare for oily skin, and um, they mentioned the water cream, and I like it because it's water-based, doesn't have oils in it, so it doesn't really... Um, add to the oiliness that I already have, but it does keep my skin hydrated so that my body doesn't think, hey, I need to produce more because you know, I got no hydration going on. And then you to the People Kale and Spinach Moisturizer. I forgot why I got that, but it's Clean Beauty. Um, so they, they told me it was a good moisturizer, so I just wanted to go ahead and try that. So if you didn't know already, Always ask for samples if you don't want to outright buy something, especially if it is expensive. You don't want to be wasting your money. Obviously, you can return it, but you don't want to waste your money on something that you don't know it's going to work for you or not. And then these items I don't have. They probably already like got there, but I had ordered them from Amazon and it's skincare related, so I wanted to share what I got. And I'll show like either a picture somewhere up here or you can see in the blog post um, what I'm talking about. So I ordered a little eye um, cream roller. It's like a metal eye cream roller. And this is good, especially too, for like um, helping deep puff your eyes. So you use it with the eye cream and you'll just like roll it right here where the eye contour is. And it'll help with deep puffing and all of that. It's really good and soothing. You can keep it in the cooler so it's cold and it even helps further to like deep puff and then i got a rose quartz jade facial roller um if you're into like crystals and that obviously there might be like a difference between the jade and the rose quartz one like the green and the pink one 
I don't really think it does anything different. I think it's all the same shit, but who knows? That's just me. So I got one of those because I was watching the Skinny Confidential the other day and she um, was talking about skincare and then she had a video on YouTube about like lymphatic drainage and it helps like with your skin and doing all that and then like, you know, just pretty much getting your skin ready for the day and like deep puffing and all of that. So um, she does it with her finger. She does like facial massage on herself like every morning it takes like i don't know how long it takes her but it's really doesn't take long to do that but i wanted to get a little roller for my face to kind of like speed up the process so that's why i got that i'll see how i like it and then the last thing i got this is also a recommendation from the skinny confidential actually this is the next to last where do you go um what's it called I'm sorry i'm looking at my order on amazon <sighs> where'd it go? Um, okay, it's called the Replenix Antioxidant Sunscreen Moisturizer. So I don't ever put sunscreen on besides when I go to like the beach or I know I'm going to be on the sun. I don't ever put it on. So I know that's not good. You should use sunscreen every freaking day, especially because, especially here in Florida, you know, just sun every single day on your face. It's not good. You want to protect your skin and I need to do that. So I wanted to get this and she said it's like a really good moisturizer and she doesn't even use, I don't think, a primer because it kind of acts like that, like it's a good base. So I wanted to, you know, get that, try it out. It's a little on the pricey side for sunscreen, but I think it's really good. I think it'll be really good. I, t I think all of her stuff that she recommends is good stuff because she knows what she's talking about. And then the last thing I got is like this little set. It's um, comes with two of them. It's a little face mask silicone brush. I always, when I do my mask, I use like a little brush that I have, a makeup brush or something, maybe like a concealer brush or something like that, but it's like a, a paint brush pretty much. And I would use that to put on my masks. But I wanted to get like a silicone one because I know that won't waste any of the product and soak into the um, hair bristles. So I figured why not get one, it's not even that expensive, I think they're like 5 bucks, 10 bucks or something like that for two of them. And I get it the next day, so why not? So I really wanted to just get that, especially with the new mask that I got, I don't know. I feel like it's more, um, what's it called, hygienic, don't have to, I mean you can literally just wipe it off and that's good to go instead of having to, you know, clean a whole brush, put soap on it, clean it, whatever. So, yeah. And that is all of the little skincare items that I got in this little haul. I didn't get much because like I said, skincare is expensive. These things I did buy, that cost me a pretty penny. But to me, my skin is worth it. I wanna be looking youthful as long as possible, okay? I'm trying to take care of my skin. And another tip, I'll probably do a whole video on like skincare when I get my routine going and have done it for a while. Like I have the same routine going, but like with using these products that I bought, I'll do a video on that soon. But a quick tip for that, like anything that you do in your face, go ahead and like do it to your neck and do it to your hands, especially like the sunscreen. Your hands are always in the sun, especially when you're driving, you know, on the wheel, they see the sun more than your face. So moisturizer, toning, all that you can do to your hands too. If it's good for your face, it's good for your body. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think that will just help with keeping your hands and like neck and all that um, healthy looking, youthful looking. First sign of aging is always in the hands, people. So you want to take care of them. Just a little tip that I learned. So, yeah, I think that wraps this video up. Like I said at the beginning, if you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little uh, notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And this, I will leave a link to my to the blog post down below so that you can see all the products and shop whatever you want to shop. Try anything out for you. It'll be down below if I didn't mention that already. I think I did. But, so, yeah. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.